Hey, how's it going everybody? And boy do I have a special treat for you. We have already managed to find a plus 20 frig on defense at tank position, which is really interesting. So they burned a tremendous amount of resources to be able to do that. Um, they stuck with their exact same Teluria defense, but with frig. And... You don't get the same stalling potential and you definitely don't get any healing but like with this like what color would you think you'd want to attack with here maybe green i think they honestly should do away with the um the double blues here because the double blues are one reason to attack with green i guess gravemaker disincentivizes attacking with green which is good because what you want is green tiles left on the board because that's what determines how strong her special will be um I'm going to attack with my usual Teluria team, which means that the greens on the board are going to be to my detriment. So I could see, like, and if emblems weren't such a problem, I could see double Gravemaker flanks, because that would be like you'd never want to bring greens against double Gravemakers. Um, but this is going to be interesting, so I'll use a flask for this, um, because this is worth checking out. Um, man. And you got Kill Her over there? That's, that's crazy. Crazy! Oh my god, alright. I'm a little nervous. So, five greens on the board to start, which means she's gonna hit for... Uh, 190% damage. And I'm gonna get... Minus 28% defense on everyone crazy and I can't even match the greens that's the other thing is you don't even always have control over how many greens are on there oh this board sucks too so let's see how fast she charges I think it's going to be quite fast um, you know what I guess I will get rid of some greens so there's four that I can do nothing with um, so she's going down pretty easy, and that's only with two reds, but let's see what we're at. Minus 32% defense, and I'm so far from having a cleanse ready. I don't even have Black Knight ready, so she did barely survive. She's got 150 HP, and I only used two reds, so in mono she was just going to go down way too easy. So I think she's a good flank to a red tank. Even a Gravemaker tank could work, but that's always a gamble. But like if you had Gravemaker tank with a Frig flank and then a super aggressive defense around that, like Jabberwock, Finley, and I don't know, Zimkitha or something like that. Um, no, maybe not Zimkitha, probably not two reds, but something like that, you get the idea. Um, it might not matter that you can't heal or that Gravemaker only goes off once because all you need is for Frig to go off once and then someone like kill her and you're absolutely dead. And like I actually have a good shot of blues into kill her, but we're going to get decimated if I do that, which might be interesting. Let's just do that and see what happens. Also, I didn't notice what the damage was. Hopefully uh, you did or you can go back to see, but it must have been pretty damn high. So let's try to set off kill here just to see what this is going to do. If I can even live long enough to do so. I don't want to set off Vela. Because I want to see what kill here does on her own. So we're going to be dead. Let's see. Nope. Someone's going to be left alive. Oh, the defense down is gone. So it's only three turns. Well, that was more brutal than it needed to be. All right, let me at least kill Gravemaker, okay. Uh, what's my, so yeah, definitely rematch. What's my chest at, 38. All right, definitely use a flask here. Um, so this time I'm actually gonna do my best to try to kill her. And then we'll have one more way to test afterwards. Hmm. So that wasn't just for the greens, that was for the reds. But wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So those eight greens on the board that I can't even match, 
mean that she's gonna hit me for max damage, which is crazy. But I think I can kill her right now. Fuck. So what's the damage here? <laughs> oh shit. Oh, she is so strong. That worries me. Damn. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, one thing I want to check before this video ends is... Um, I think I can get my healer. One thing I want to check is with the... Um, holy shit. Uh, sorry, with the rogue class, what is the max her defense can get to? Cause she does. <laughs> oh my god, this is the most dangerous team I've ever faced. Holy shit. Let's see if. Oh, please tell me I didn't screw that up. Okay. Can we get a third four star ascension item? Training manual. And trainer hero, so let's take a quick oops jump in here and keep feeding her up. Alright. I guess I'll try this again. So that's the trick is you really need to you I need to be using more reds than this. Let's try that. Or should I go with a green team? Well, I think I'm going to try with the green team, actually, because we've seen already that, um, we've seen already that she goes down pretty easy with reds. So me demonstrating how more reds will kill her, not helpful, has already been demonstrated. So let's see what we can do with greens, because if we're actively minimizing the greens on the board, which for as strong as this team is, they are incentivizing us to bring green. Gravemaker is the only de-incentivizer, but that's outweighed by the fact that Frigg is fueled by greens, and we have two blues on the board. So, if we go to green here, which I need to reorganize this real quick because I don't want to have all of my um, greens next to each other. So is that 11? That's the highest I have. Oops. Double check our troops here. Okay, looks good. Alright, so... Unfortunately, they're all into Gravemaker. So, we have one, potentially two... Alright, let's go for the matches that we have. See if we can get... Green's going... All right, so she's gonna go off. I can match. There will only be three greens left on the board unless more come in. I don't think that'll set off Gravemaker and more come in. So this is gonna be devastating. Okay, not too bad, but the defense down is crazy. All right, so let's go Hansel and Gravemaker. Um, let's try to just outright kill Finley. And a Frigg follow-up shot, like if she lives long enough to hit again, brutal. As long as it's within three turns, I guess. Oh, shit. Um, God, I feel like I need... The red diamond, two will hit Vela, which will set her off. How many more turns left on this? Only one. Ooh, I need to hope that this doesn't set off Frigg. But look, I mean, we're in bad shape here. This is obviously a very strong team. Unusually strong. Um, but this damage output is crazy. Crazy. Holy shit. And they're fucking Finley. We gotta try to kill Finley with... 
damn. God damn. Super tank. Okay, holy shit. Holy shit. All right. Um, so let's go back here. She's a 760 on defense and a 1320 health. So that's the other thing is like, all right, if you are thinking green tank, they're going to be stacking reds. Vela no longer is going to do extra damage to red, most likely. Uh, she's still going to do attack down to everyone, so a bit of a buff there, because that'll affect reds and everyone else. Um, she just doesn't do extra damage to red, and she is not going to do as much damage overall. Um, so I don't know if that's going to even disrupt the, um, the, the combination of Teleria and Vela still. Um, but Frigg is way more dangerous than Teleria. So, holy shit. That was crazy. And that's the problem, is like, one more thought before we look at this. On defense, you get a 20% attack bonus, and I think a 20% defensive bonus, or it's 20% HP, I can't remember. But it's only two of the three categories, and attack is one of them. So, a hero like this, that's super strong on defense, they may nerf. And it's like, what is the fucking point? Just don't get rid of the boost on defense if they're too strong on defense and they're fine in attack the problem is not the hero the problem is the defensive boost so it's like oh god it's just so frustrating how they like insist on leaving that so 760 and 1320 so now if we go in here and let's look at a rogue so we'd go defense and health so that's one of each defense and health again Hmm, health or defense, 2% mana would mean that you could get her up to uh, one tile less with only level 23 troop, um, which is an advantage, not a crazy advantage, so I don't know whether, that's the extra, even more health though, but usually it's Oh, it's because his health is so much lower. So it'll be better for her. This is a based on a percentage, so it's a 3%. So if her health is higher, which it is, then that will be better. Um, so one of each, two of each. I would probably go for defense, I think. Let's say three defense, then I would go health. So that's three of each, four of each, five of each, and then up to defense, so that's... Also 3%, so that's usually worth in the mid-20s. So what did I say? Is that 5 of each plus 1 bonus defense? 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4. Wow, hold on, I'm being stupid right now. 2 of each. And then I go defense, and then we go health. So now we're even, 3 of each. 4 of each, 5 of each, 6 to defense. So, 5 times the health would be about 180-ish, which would bring her up to 1,500. Um, so, yeah, you must get a defense bonus, not HP bonus, because I think I saw that she had 1,500 health. Um, and then defense is 18 times 5 is 90 so she was a 760, that brings her up to an 850, which is respectable. I think that's better than a Max Emblem Ursina. And then um, that would be another probably, let's see, 3%, another 25 maybe, so like an 875. 875, 1500. So those are pretty good stats. And the fact that she has, she would have a 20%, 1 in 5 chance to dodge, yeah. Um, 760 and then she would pick up a couple attack nodes in there but honestly with her it's just about keeping her alive with an aggressive team and the defense down does the work her damage is just a bonus um, it's great on offense defense is totally different and that's obviously really annoying to me but yeah that's your first look at Frig on Defense with the perfect example of full 20 emblems, 20 emblem nodes. 
There's another look. That team is bonkers, though. That's like... I mean, Vela is just there because she's excellent with green tanks. She's a very strong hero, as is. Um, but the other three, Killhair, Finley, Gravemaker, are all absolutely top-tier heroes. And I think Frigg is also now absolutely a top-tier hero. Um, God, I could even see the benefit, if you had it, of a level 30 crit troop. Just to maybe make her fire twice or at least once. All you need is for her to go off once, so it's a gamble whether you want to give her the increased mana to do that faster or the increased defense to survive the red stacks that are going to be coming at you. But there you have it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.